The most important journey you can make is the journey into yourself to learn who you are and what you're made up of and all the wonderful things in you that you may not have discovered yet. And then, and that if you can discover, will really make your life better and better for all of those around you that you love and for the, for the society in general. And this journey into self is a journey in which we enlighten the darkness within. And this darkness is really an unconscious part of ourselves that we have not got to know, that we have not paid attention to, we have not directed our awareness to. And all of yoga and meditation is designed to help us to enlighten this darkness within. And what yoga and meditation and a lot of systems of Western psychology can help us to understand is what this darkness is made of. Because for a lot of us, we're scared of the darkness. We think there's something bad in us, but this is not true. The darkness is really just a part of you that you've not looked at. And that by looking at it, you can transform it, you can make it uh, something that is useful, something that's creative, something that's powerful and meaningful in your life. And we can call this darkness the shadow. And the shadow is really the parts of us that we've, we've repressed. So there's a, there's a part of us we like, we project into the world, which is our ego, our sense of uh, our personality, the things we want people to see. But there are parts of us that we don't want to look at, that we find painful or difficult, or things that we've inherited uh, from past experiences that make us feel bad. And we repress those things into the shadow. And without having support or knowledge or community or guidance in some form or some technique that enables us to deal with the shadow, the shadow can overwhelm us. And any time that you feel that you're acting out in a way that's not you, that you're overwhelmed by an emotion, you say things you don't want to say, you feel things you don't want to feel, you do things you don't want to do, and later on you think, well, that really wasn't me. Well, it wasn't the egoic part of you. It wasn't your ego acting. It was the shadow, the shadow overpowering the ego. And if you don't somehow come into relationship with the shadow, it will continue to do this. So it's a very important thing to learn how to manage the shadow, how to engage with that part of yourself, to develop a relationship with your shadow, and to find ways that will help you to become more whole, less fractured. And in the process, you get a great deal of joy. You get meaning, fulfillment, you become powerful, you become a bigger self. And you actually, what you do is you reduce the power of your ego, the power, of the rigidity of your ego, this kind of feeling that this is, the, this is me, this is all I am, to this wonderful exploration of all these other parts of you. And so at Big Shakti, uh, we've designed a series of seminars to help you to begin this process, to engage with your shadow. We're going to combine Eastern and Western psychologies because that will give you the knowledge you need to understand what the shadow is from a Western point of view, which is called the shadow, the Eastern point of view, which is often called the Vijnana Maya Kosha, or the psychic sheath, the deeper part of us, the deeper mind. Uh, and the deeper mind is this part of us that is lies between the egoic conditioning, the little self, and the uh, highest consciousness, the spiritual self. The really important thing is that there are techniques that help you to stay grounded and stable while you're engaging the shadow, to not allow yourself to be overwhelmed by it, but to begin to create a solid center, a solid sense of self from which to engage the shadow. And this is the important thing. This is the key to success.